Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, Scarecrow Gaming, and I'm here again with another build. And this one is a throwing knife range at Finch Farm, and I figured it'd be kind of fun. I already had something um, pre-set up right there with that with the junk wall uh, from the custom junk walls thing. Don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal if you don't have it. There's other things you can use, um, but I still highly recommend it. And yes, I'm using the Place Anywhere tool, but my Place Anywhere tool doesn't work like others. So you could still probably technically do this with vanilla. So... If you are running this all on vanilla, don't worry about it. You guys can most likely still do it if you guys or do something very similar to this. So just keep that in mind. And plus, you don't have to build this at Finch Farm. I built it at Finch Farm because this is going to be a slave uh, plantation or a save, uh, um, slave um, auction house. So yeah, just uh, keep that in mind. So what this build is, is it's just a throwing knife range. But it sh shows what you can do with very little items but still make it look unique. And it also uses two of my favorite things. Um, one of them I don't show in this video. Um, the other one I do, which is the make static tool and the um, making scrappy furniture using just a pillar glitch and other things. And it's very cool to make the junky for, ugh, I can't even speak, to make the junky furniture because it's different and unique and it makes stuff just feel way different than what it already is um i already take that light out you guys will learn what that light's all about you guys are going to need a swapper for like one part but it's like just a quick add-on to the make static um advanced guy that i just forgot that somebody um told me um fuck i can't even speak that somebody told me how to do something that would be like the knife second wall and that is uno bros make sure you guys go check them out and also make sure you guys go and check Check out the person that made the thumbnail for this video, which is Commonwealth Courier, and also go ahead and check out Dark Dally, who is a person I'm work uh, one of the people I'm working on a collab with in this project. So this little fence right here, it was being a pain in the bitch for not wanting to sink down, and if I used the select all tool right there on just that, it'd grab everything, and I couldn't do that, so I had to store it, re-grab it, and then grab it with the pillar, and then just place it in. So yeah, it turned out really nice. Um, so one of the things I did is I tried to, um, do unique lighting with this as well. You guys won't see that in a little bit. With the lighting, though, it just, how do I put it? In Todd Howard words, it just works. So I was going to use this ramshackle wall right there, but I wasn't sure how far I wanted this to go out. So I scrolled over and I saw this bed and I was just like, you know, that looks cool and unique. And I don't know where else I would use that. So I just plopped it down. And I went and go went and grabbed it to make sure there's like no floating edges. I also grabbed this ramshackle wall right there that has the um that's filled with like uh what is it called? Um gravel. Gravel. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Uh it's filled with gravel, so it makes it to where it's like pretty big and hefty. And what I wanted to do is I just wanted to add some diversity to it and stuff because I mean, this is made by slavers that are also kind of basically raiders, so why would it be all perfectly clean? So I had to sink that down in a couple times uh, with the PlayStation World tool since mine doesn't work like everybody else's. And it turned out really nice. And the reason why mine doesn't work like everybody else's PlayStation World tool is because my PlayStation World tool um, is because I don't have the contraptions DLC. I don't have all the DLC like everybody else does. Um, only have the first two, which is Automatron and uh, the regular Workshop DLC. So this next part right here, I decided to add in the platform, and I tried using the regular Shack Foundation at first. I was just like, oh, that'd be cool. I tried using it, and I'm just like, I just don't feel it right there. It just doesn't look right. So eventually, I do just be like, eh, screw it. I'll just scrap it. Let's fuck it. It doesn't look good. If I don't like it, I'm taking it out. Maybe one of you guys could get to work at a different um, range, because obviously it wouldn't work really right there because of that hill. But I'm pretty sure it could work anywhere else, and you could just scrapify it with using the um, pallets. So what I do is I take this piece right here, and I take one of the four, one of the four pieces. I sink it down into the ground some to where it looks just right, and then I. Um, try snapping it right there just so the floor is connected. Doesn't work, so I just snap in a pallet, snap in another shack floor that has a pallet on it, and then I grab a one of those shack floors with the placing tool. 
At first I tried placing it on top of it, but then I'm just like, that doesn't work. So then I was just like, oh, just activate it, then use a the concrete pillar. That doesn't work. So then I have to just take the placing anywhere tool, place it next to it, then place it on it, uh, then pick it up with the pillar glitch, and that will cause it to work. Like so. Ta-da! So if you're like me, and your placing anywhere tool doesn't work because you don't have contraptions, then you can just do what I do and just treat it like it's a rug. So right here I used the covenant stance just to add a little bit of detail. At first I was going to try using it like this. That didn't work because I can't raise the placing more tool up. So then I was going to like, okay, I'll use the uh, concrete wall, pick it up, do the pillar glitch very much, and bada bing bada boom. I tried raising it up to where it wasn't sticking through the floor, but you could still see it underneath. So that way there was some type of supports. But that's not the only support I add on to it. I do use uh, regular fence posts and such. So it turns out really nice. And well, in my opinion, that's with these fence posts. Ah, beautiful. That was. Yeah, let's see. This one get put in real quick. It should get picked up in the... Yep, there we go. Okay, and now... Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Yeah, mine glitches out sometimes, so it turns out perfectly fine. Okay, so here is when I start doing the Make Static stuff that I did in my Make Static Advanced Guide. And I figured it'd be pretty cool to make these weapons just all over the place. And that's what I kind of do. I just drop them all because I know which ones I want to use. So first off, I use it for the um, heads and such. And the spear right here, which is just a pull cue with a knife on it on the end. Yeah, I know. Very creative, Bethesda. Um, actually, kind of is because I would have suggested like a broom handle or something so what i needed to do is i need to go into special and you need to go to swappa why are you paused for so long scarecrow this is even sped up okay uh there we go so you want to go to swap a full activator pea grab the blue thing and move it out of the way place it just somewhere to where it's not in your way like just off to the side right there walk back and forth the wall eventually will disappear or whatever it's against and I'm pausing again. What the hell are you doing, Scarecrow? Come on. There you go. Alright, beautiful. Okay, so now what you need to do. Pick up the spear. Uh, make sure you hit Scarecrow. Did you hit square on it? I don't know if you hit square on it, buddy. Okay. And you're fiddling around with it like it's a little toy. Come on. There you go. Okay. So, I wanted to get it like it looking like the guy barely just missed that head right there in the center. But I also wanted to get like where the knife was halfway stuck through the wall. So, I tried like that. And it doesn't work because I m miss putting it where the wall is. I thought it looked like it to me and I was just like, okay, looks good. I didn't even check. I was just like, okay, let's do this. Yeah. And nope, gotta fix it. So basically what you do is you just activate the swappa tool, make the wall invisible. I walk over here to see if it'd be easier. It's not, just do it like how you do. Um, just jump down there, look at it. See, yeah, you just fail. Okay, so just walk at it. Just make sure. Yeah, just open up your pit boy after you hit um, before you manipulate it, uh, make sure you hit square, and there you go. Now then, you got a spear in the wall. If you're wondering how I did the heads, um, the heads are in CVA, I'm pretty sure. 
I'll post what it is in down below. But the um, what I did for the heads is I just pre-positioned pre the knives and the axe, and then I used place anywhere to move the head. So that table right there, that is made from the concrete blocks from USO, the planks from CVA, and the jer jersey bar barrier and the pallet from USO. Very simple to do. If you notice, there's a bunch of miscellaneous weapons just like sticked in the um, board or just piled on there or something like that. It just makes it look nice. The lighting here turned out a lot better than I expected, and I also added something against the fencing right there, that way it just wasn't so bland. As you can see, there's like multiple weapons stabbed in the heads and such. I figured it would look pretty nice, and it does. Um, I glitched in a post right there, not post, but right in those raider um, poles that has like the barbed wire and the skulls on it, around the tower right there, because it looks pretty damn cool if I have to admit. The bench right there is just a chillax speaker and such and the fire barrel because lighting is important. And that shows right here in the night tour and I'm just going to be quiet for this and let you guys enjoy so yeah. So I believe this turned out really, really nice. I like the use of the Make Static, which I believe is better than OC Decorator. Because OC Decorator, I feel like it causes more lag in the game. As well as, it just it's hard to manipulate the items to get them positioned how you want to. With Make Static, you don't even have to be in workshop mode to make them how you want. That's just my personal opinion, though. I think you guys should start using it over OC Decorator, but I can't force you guys to do anything. So yeah, I think the build turned out really nice. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button. Share this video to all your friends and family on the Facebooks and the Twitters. And then comment down below what your favorite part of the build was. Personally, I like the heads with the knives and the blades and everything in it. But that's just me. You guys let me know down in the comments below. And as always, make sure you guys keep it easy, keep sexy, and keep it active. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and have a wonderful day. Bye.